Hello everyone, let's try understanding strings in detail. Floating around me are all the characters. Technically, a character is enclosed within a single quotes. How do we get a string out of these characters? Let's explore. All these characters can be gathered and assembled like this. In case I store these characters in an array, this is how it appears. In fact, I can give a name to the array as well. I would call it as say X. If you ask me, is this a string? Yes, it is almost a string. Just that a programming language like C expects the string to end with a null character. So if in case I append a null character, then certainly I can call it as a string. I append a null character to the end of the string. And now, certainly this is a string in C language. So what is a string in C language? A string in C language is nothing but an array of characters ending with a null character. But the story is different in case of a programming language like Java. In case of a programming language like Java, a string is treated as an object like this. And an object wouldn't just contain the data, it would also contain the methods various methods such as the equals the two uppercase the two lowercase the compare to method the two care array the care at and a host of these methods as well would be a part of the object in fact every object normally has a reference as well maybe x is the reference to this object i know there are a lot of new terms that i've used like object reference and so on let's continue and understand what they all stand for in a programming language like C, the programmer is permitted to directly access the individual characters present in the string. Let me explain it through an example. Consider a string like this. A string is technically always enclosed within the double quotes. And in this case, I need not explicitly have a null character because automatically the C compiler is going to add it for us. And as all of you know, I will have to store this in a character array. So I create a character array called X. And if I want to access, say, the sixth element, then I just have to have a printf statement and display X of six for you. And this is the full program. And when I'll execute, this is the output. The output goes to show that C language is quite a liberal language which is going to permit me to directly access the individual character present in the string. But Java is not as liberal as this. Let me tell you, in case of Java, you cannot directly access the individual character present in the data. Well, if you don't believe, again, consider the same string. But as all of you know, Java doesn't treat it as an array of character. So I'm going to remove the character array and declare X as of type string. And in the next line, if I will try to directly access the sixth character by trying to print X of six, then this is the error that I get. Well, as you can see, Java is not permitting us to access the individual character. But then if you'll ask me, is it not possible to access the individual characters at all? I didn't say that. You can certainly access the individual character, but not directly, but by making use of the inbuilt methods. In fact, that is the role of the inbuilt methods. Inbuilt methods are the ones which are going to access the data and do the required operation on the data. Just that as programmers, you have to know which inbuilt method you have to use to operate on the data suitably. In this case, I will have to make use of the inbuilt method called care at. And to call that inbuilt method, I have to make use of my reference variable called x. Now, if it's all confusing, let me tell you, it's a simple change that is needed in this program, wherein I just have to replace this x of 6 with x dot char at 6. Provided I do that and execute, I get the output. What this example goes to show is that as a Java programmer, if you really want to access the individual character present in the string object, then you have to make use of the reference 
dot the inbuilt method and through that you would be able to access the data in fact there are a host of inbuilt methods today i have just spoken about the care at as a job aspirant as a professional it becomes important for you to know which are those inbuilt methods that you need to use under what circumstances and this video series is going to make you an expert when it comes to programming constraints so just keep continuing to watch my videos